So if we look at 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, do not be unequally bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership can a righteousness have with lawlessness? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? To be an unbeliever means that you have heard its truth but do not accept it. You know his commandments and statutes, but choose not to walk according to them. So as we look at this verse, I recommend that you just not look at the people, but look at the spirit that is strongly influencing these people. For 1 John 4 and 5, they are from the world, therefore they speak from the viewpoint of the world. And the world listens to them. We are from God, and whoever knows God listens to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and a spirit of falsehood, a spirit of error. So when God gives you a word to share, what are your expectations? So in this case, for unbelievers, and believers, there may be certain areas in their life where they have not allowed the Word of God and the Spirit of God to deal with those issues. So these individuals that listen only to the world and only speak from the viewpoint of the world, we have to know that they are under the influence of these systems, under the control of these systems, under the deceptions and lies of these systems that is orchestrated by the temporary ruler of the system, Satan. So for example, you might see um, believers in Christ that listen to all the songs that engage the mind in violence, revenge, drugs, lustfulness, pridefulness. And we'll say that we listen to these particular songs because we can relate to it and for some, they just like it. But not realizing the reason for being attracted or desiring that song that goes against the words of God is because there is something within them that they have experienced that connects them to these songs that was birthed through these systems. And for a believer, this has to be scary because this is a part of your life that God wants to set you free from that is keeping you bound to the things of this world that goes against his statutes and commandments. And then many of us get so deep into it that we become spiritually blind to where we cannot receive what God is saying in that area where he wants to heal us. So in conclusion, when you go out into the world, teaching and preaching and sharing the kingdom of God, that their worldly lifestyles, their mindset, their response, their statements to what the Spirit of God is revealing, it will be a challenge against what you are saying unless their hearts are open to receive what the Spirit of God is saying and the work that He wants to do in them. They will only listen to what the world is saying and not what the Spirit of God is saying because they are being strongly influenced by the Spirit that causes error in the mind, the Spirit that causes them to be spiritually blind to the things of God to where they stumble and not even know why they are stumbling. So what are your expectations when you meet people that challenge you? You have to know that they are in the world, so therefore they speak from the viewpoint of the world. So we have to go behind the scenes for these people and attack the spirit that is influencing them and pray according to the will of God because it is the will of God that everyone 
know him. Everyone receives salvation. Everyone receives deliverance. It is his will. So through your prayer life, we attack these spirits. 